Let's take a look at three steps needed to print carbon fiber filament on the Elegoo Centauri carbon. Step one, dry out your filament. Either use a filament dryer set to manufacturer's recommended temperature for your filament, and we're using PPA carbon fiber here, so it'll be set to between 100 and 140 degrees Celsius. My filament dryer maxes out at 70 degrees, so that's what we went with for 12 hours, and I'm happy with the results that we got or you can use your 3D printer as a dryer. But currently Elegoo's firmware is set to time out at 20 to 30 minutes, so you can't actually do this right now. This is a feature request. Elegoo, please implement a filament drying option. For this, you're gonna send the heat bed all the way to the bottom position, set the heat bed to 110 degrees Celsius, place your filament on top, and then put a cardboard box over it, close the door, and put the top plate on. You'll leave your filament in there for 10 to 12 hours, and by that time, your filament should be dry. Step two, slicer settings. While the printer is drying, we can slice the files. Here's the Elegoo slicer, and we don't have a preset for PPA carbon fiber, but I was able to modify the profile for generic PA6 carbon fiber and change the nozzle temperature to 300 degrees Celsius. That's all we have to do here, super straightforward. They have profiles for all the other common filaments. Step three, moving the Bowden tube. The factory installation of the Bowden tube in the drag chain creates some areas where the tube gets bent into some very tight angles. On the startup of a print, the print head homes against the side of the printer and snaps the filament. To avoid this, we remove the tube from the drag chain and let it move freely. This does mean that you have to print without the top plate installed. This was fine from my experience, but you're almost certainly giving up some of your layer adhesion qualities. This is only a concern in some engineering filaments, so PPA, PA, polycarbonate. If you're just printing PLA carbon fiber or PETG carbon fiber, you can stop here. This is it, you're ready to print. Otherwise, you can print a riser that just brings the top plate up by a couple inches. I'll include the link to these files in the description. Those are your three steps, but here's a bonus one. Certain engineering filaments will require that you do some annealing if you wanna get your preferred physical characteristics. PLA and PETG don't need to do this, but things like polycarbonate, PA, and PPA, you may wanna do this depending on your use case. Check your manufacturer's recommended temperatures and times. For Bamboo Lab PPA, which I have here, it's 100 to 160 degrees for six to 12 hours, which means you could use your 3D printer again if the firmware allowed it, or you could use your filament dryer. But if you're serious about annealing your parts, you should probably consider getting a dedicated oven for annealing. Now we can take a look at the results of our work. A common defect that I'm seeing on these is these little scraggly bits. I haven't been able to get rid of those, but they are pretty common across all of these prints. The surface finish is really incredible. This can be said for most carbon fiber filaments. The matte finish just gives those exterior walls a very nice cohesive look, nice shine to them. They look really nice. I hope you like that one. I'll leave you with more footage of the results and I will see you in the next one.